was driving down the highway and a five gallon pail exploded in the back of the rental truck. Oh my God. We're talking like serious volume of paint. Then it was out in the sun and baked for the rest of the day. I came home and I poured a thousand plus liberally over the entire truck inside out because that stuff was everywhere. And then there was a few areas that I'd missed and I didn't put the thousand plus on. And then when I came with the pressure washer, the stuff that had gotten thousand plus, it came off like that. Just boom, came right off. And the stuff that was not with thousand plus, I could barely get it off. Oh my God. And I, I was scared because it was a rental truck. Yes, I'm like, yes. I have destroyed this finish. Now you see, these, came are, out perfectly. these are the moments of truth that we hope to communicate with what we call the 1000 plus information series. Yeah. So that was very good. <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> Friday. Oh yeah. my God. And then I, so then I was there and I'm like, I saw the picture that it had a rim here. I'm yes. like, well, I'm going to put some on the rim. <laughs> so then I started spraying it all over the truck. <laughs> so so let, let me see if I got this straight. So in other words, you were driving a rental vehicle. Yes, correct. You had some paint in the back. Correct. And, uh, you know, as happens sometimes, disaster strikes. And what exactly happened to the... The, the part of the lid, uh, lid propped ov open because yes. as I was coming on the on-ramp, Yes. Everything in the back of the truck shifted and the five gallon pail fell over. Oh my and so the lid yes. from the force of the, of the paint inside the gallon propped the lid open yes. and it splattered and sprayed and bounced around for 20 minutes oh my God. as I uh, was driving down the highway. Yes. And then when I showed up on, jo on the job site, that's when I realized what had mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. And so you're saying that you thought of using 1000 plus because you're familiar with it yes absolutely that was my first thought i need 1000 plus now and and then you you spurt, you squirted it on yeah liberally yeah soaked okay. it all over every every area that had received the paint yeah and so i guess from experience you knew that you didn't have to worry about damaging the truck surface correct right yeah it was inside of the rental truck it was, it was uh, in the back, yes. the box, and splattered up the side and in around the entire back on both the inside of the bed and the outside. Oh, the of outside the truck. too. Yeah. So you applied the 1000 plus liberally. Yeah. Uh, you didn't have gloves or anything. You didn't have to worry about it because no. it's kind of skin. That's right. And then, and then so w what you said was interesting is that when you tried using a pressure washer later, yeah. that there was a difference in the removal of the by now drying or dried paint yeah. where you had applied this preventative measure as opposed to not absolutely the the uh, and, and and we we use like gas powered uh, high pressure uh, pressure washers yes that's what we need we need commercial grade pressure washers in order to do our job so would that be maybe 2800 yeah yeah and okay. uh like a honda motor right. uh, like the stuff that's meant to run for eight to ten hours straight without breaking down you know right the heavy duty ones yes and uh yeah even with that one at um at like an inch yes. away from the truck yes i could barely get it off mm. uh, <laughs> if it wasn't applied with a thousand plus and the areas that were applied with a thousand plus i could kind of just hose it down like yes. this and just kind of wash it wow no, really impressive. Th that wasn't the first experience you've had with 1000 plus in a in an overspray or cleanup situation. No, it, it pretty much happens on a daily basis because uh, what we do is we spray and uh, when you spray, you cover and protect everything as much as possible, but you still end up having a two to five percent um, kind of margin where tape gives, plastic gets ripped during the progress of the uh, or the process of the of the job, and so we always have to come prepared, uh, expecting that we're we're going to have some overspray uh, that we have to deal with, and, and it usually comes on uh, door handles, hinges, windows, frames, uh, counters, yes. various tiles, substrates like that. Yeah. So one thousand plus uh, is not the only quote unquote cleanup solution out there. You're familiar with some of the other brands. Why, why do you feel that you lean toward 1000 plus? Uh, for me, one of the major uh, selling points, if you wish, to the product itself has been that um, I find that it has the perfect mix between being uh, too aggressive and not aggressive enough. So because we are, the overspray lands on such various um, 
substrates, some being very delicate, some being more um, kind of coarse. Um, I find the 1000 Plus has the, the perfect mix where it takes off the paint in a reasonable time frame with, with marginal effort while uh, it doesn't ruin the finish that it, the paint actually is stuck mm -hmm. to, which uh, we've tried some of the other uh, solutions and I've found that either it didn't touch it, we couldn't get the paint off, period, or we would actually destroy and you know if you're like some of these um, commercial projects that we're on some of the homes that we are in they have very very expensive finishes so if you ruin it you own it mm -hmm. and uh, that's why I choose that. So, so these alternative solutions that you'd be looking for you're talking about the typical cleanup solutions you'd find on the shelves of one of the major home improvement retailers. Correct. The, the orange ones, the blue ones. Yeah. And, so, yeah. and uh, so you're in a sense saying that although they think they have the right solutions for a commercial uh, painter like yourself, that yeah. you find that this delivers something that is not currently available on their shelves. Yes, agreed. And also for me, uh, liability is a big issue, right? And I have guys who come and work with us who have lots of experience and we have also guys who have minimal experience that we are training and, and you know in an apprentice type of a environment and uh, you know if they splatter some of these chemicals in their eyes or even just touching it with their hands it becomes an issue but with a thousand plus you know you can wash your dog right. so you're and by the way that's actually true skunk smell removal is a very popular use <laughs> a lot of contractors <laughs> live, live in nice houses, houses near near the fringe of the city and a lot of them have dogs too <laughs> So the, the 1000 plus uh, solution is a kind of reach for it first solution when accidents happen. It, not, not a paint remover per se, but like an accident fix up solution. Correct. Yeah, we go to 1000 plus first. Okay. Yeah, uh, we stock all our trucks and trailers with 1000 plus. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about airpainters.com, uh, your, your business. You, you seem to have a lot of industry experience at several levels. What, why are you so well connected? Why is your business flourishing? Well, um, my, my uh, desire has always been to service my clients well and first and foremost. So our, our company slogan is professional and reliable service. And so we have always gone after, um, we will leave the job with a satisfied customer no matter what, no matter what circumstance or situation it is. And for 20 years, that's what we've tried to do every single day. It's not good enough to do it once in a while. You got to do it every day. Every customer has to be satisfied. And, and some of these customers of yours, they're uh, well-known names. You know, people who have uh, real estate in in shopping malls yeah. and, and so yeah. forth. Yeah, I mean, we've done work for for uh, Bell, uh, Bell Mobile. We we do lots of work for Telus. Almost on a weekly basis, we're servicing Telus in one way or another, uh, which also is a mobile company. Uh, we've done Costco's. Um, we've done all sorts of various main brand. Uh, right. Uh, yeah. Type of. And and so, uh, when you talk about liability of protecting your workers and also delivering satisfaction, you you have the added pressure of another layer of of scrutiny, yeah. uh, namely the commercial property managers where this yeah. work is being performed and they don't want any, you know, anything that uh, creates problems for anyone. Yeah, correct. I mean, we, we, we work a lot in malls. We paint both inside and outside of malls. Um, currently, we're doing a project uh, downtown Toronto in the corner of Bloor and Avenue, um, Yorkville Village, which is one of the high-end malls in Canada where uh, movie stars are known to shop because they, uh, they oftentimes stay at the Hazelton Hotel, which is next door. And uh, I mean, the finishes there are extremely expensive. They are importing uh, carpets from Italy and all sorts of uh, places around the world. And so we have to leave it spotless every time. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you've been using 1000 Plus for a while, and <clears throat> how we met is yeah. that you called the office to uh, double check about the availability because it uh, was missing from the shelf of a store, or it might have been sold out or something rather, and you needed some urgently. We brought some to you. Uh, would you say that 1000 Plus uh, would probably be as useful to others as yourself further afield? I mean, you're located in the Niagara Falls region. Yeah. Uh, so presumably, 
someone watching this in uh, maybe Wisconsin or Oregon yeah. or, or Kentucky or Florida, you, you think the lessons of 1000 plus can be applied more generally? Uh, absolutely, uh, absolutely. I mean, as soon as uh, uh, I found out that I could get my hands on more, I called my rep from uh, Dulux and PPG, Pittsburgh Paints, and I told them, you guys got to bring this into the store, and they had it in the shelves within the next week, and it's been selling like hotcakes. Hmm. And uh, I would say that you can use it all sorts of various applications, absolutely. So you're holding a, a bottle which in the U.S. market is a 30.7 ounce. Uh, for Canadian viewers, it's 909 ml. Uh, would you say that you go through that bottle at a predictable rate or is it completely unforeseeable how much you use? I mean, I would say now, mind you, that we are using this every single day. Mm -hmm. Every job, every guy has this available to him. I would say that uh, we probably use a, a bottle a guy a week, mm -hmm. I would say. But we, we, we buy it in such volume that yeah. I'm not so concerned about conserving every last little yes. drop. We, we use it liberally because I am you know, confident that we are not going to damage the fish. Well, one bottle per guy per week is actually quite affordable because let's say that bottle is somewhere in the neighborhood of you know, 10 to $12, depending on where it's yeah. available. Uh, that's a concentrate, so it can be used full strength or di mixed with water. Mm -hmm. uh, the value of the projects that you're working on in the meantime might be measured in the thousands of dollars. Oh, in the millions, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. I mean, not, not just the portion that we do, but the, the yes. whole project as a whole. The mall that we're working in downtown Toronto is a $150 million project. So, so really the cost of the, the product itself and its consumption is trivial. Yeah. It's, it's more a question of saving you time, saving you liability, yeah. and increasing your professionalism. I, I consider it a cost of doing business. Yeah. I mean, it, for, for every job, I allow a little portion just to cover my thousand plus. Right. Yeah. So it's well known then internally that your, your people think of it as a standard operating procedure? Absolutely. So, you know, this probably should find its way to Europe as well. Uh, did I hear correctly that uh, you began life in Sweden? That is correct. Born and raised in Sweden. So, yeah. so you're a descendant of the Vikings? That, that is correct. I am a full-blooded Viking, <laughs> <laughs> as I can attest to. <laughs> uh, do, do you actually speak any Swedish? Yes. Uh, Swedish is my mother tongue, yeah. Wow. Uh, how about if we uh, ask you a few questions for you to answer in Swedish? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, could you give us your name, please? Mitt namn är Anders Ireborg. Ah, and where were you born? Uh, jag var uh, född i uh, Ljungby i Sverige, i Småland. And now you're a professional painter in Canada? Uh, det är sant, jag målar uh, fulltid här. Uh, målarmästare, som de säger. Do you ever stay in touch with people in Sweden? Uh, ja, jag, jag uh, har en vän som besöker uh, från Sverige just nu och uh, pratade precis med min kusin uh, fem minuter sedan innan vi började det här. So in this case, uh, it's interesting that you have something here in Canada that might be of interest to people in Sweden. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, I would say that this uh, product would work very well in the Swedish market. So would you recommend that uh, Swedish painters or home improvement professionals learn more about 1000 plus? Yes, I would say. And why is that in Swedish? Could you explain how you use 1000 plus? Um, Okej, okay, så vi använder den här produkten då, äh, dagligen och äh, vi brukar få äh, lite färg här och där på olika, äh, i olika ställen äh, och äh, vi bara häller äh, då 1000 plus, äh, vi häller det på golvet till exempel så tar vi en borste och äh, skrubbar det lite lätt och sen så tar vi bara och torkar upp det med en, en torr trasa, ibland så tar vi äh, lite vatten Och, uh, så att uh, det kommer upp så här lite lättare lite renare. And you like the fact, especially probably as a progressive Swede, that this is environmentally responsible. Ja, absolut. För mig är det väldigt viktigt att veta att uh, killarna som jobbar för mig att de inte kommer ta skada av att röra vid det här och att om det blir uh, någonting som hamnar på marken så vet jag att det är ingen fara, det är ingenting som behöver vara orolig över. So as advanced as Sweden is, this is one case in which uh, a partnership across the Atlantic might be beneficial. Absolutely, it's going to be canon. 
So if someone in Sweden uh, sees this video, uh, would it be alright if they call you to discuss it? Absolutely. Om ni vill ringa mig så är ni mycket välkomna. So what is your telephone number, not the toll free which doesn't work in Europe, but your standard telephone number for them to call you? Ja, så vårat kontorsnummer är ett, det är väl plus ett, nio noll fem, tre två fyra, fem två sju noll och min, och sen trycker ni ett efter det så kommer det till mig, direkt till mig. And of course, they could reach you by email. Would you be good enough to give your email address? Ja visst. Uh, om ni vill emaila mig så kan ni emaila mig på anders at airpainters.com Så det är anders, A-N-D-E-R-S at airpainters A-R-P-A-I-N-T-E-R-S punkt com So now back for uh, our American viewers. Uh, the bottle that you're holding actually has uh, a logo that uh, describes that it is uh, certified as being USDA, that's the United States Department of Agriculture, mm -hmm. uh, sustainably sourced. It's uh, uh, actually f qualified under the federal procurement program. So that would be good for contractors doing government business. Right. Uh, has it been your experience that uh, the major clients are interested in your environmental practices? Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, we do a lot of work for uh, the local school board here, which obviously is a government institution and many other institutions. And I mean, they're always very concerned about all of those aspects. Yeah. So your situation in summary yeah. is that you're a professional Niagara Falls area uh, painting contractor that is well respected and well known in, in the uh, professional business community yeah, and you have made the choice to use 1000 plus as a reach for first solution because it, it you find it versatile uh, like the cleanup solution of the pros but for do-it-yourselfers too absolutely that's yeah. a fair statement I'm it's a very fair statement because you can't really go wrong with it so it's very safe to use yeah Okay, and this conversation has arisen naturally out of the fact that you needed some extra product on an emergency basis, yeah. and we just asked you to share with uh, our uh, customer base, in real terms, in an unscripted conversation, what it is that you find useful about it. Yeah. Okay, well, Anders, thank you very much, and uh, we hope actually to create more videos with little practical tips. Closing on the practical tips note, uh, could you just give me uh, one more illustration of how you might typically use it, just in very practical terms? You reach for the bottle and then what happens? Uh, so uh, usually what I do is I reach for the bottle and uh, then I uh, grab a rag that's nearby and then I take some sort of a flat object. Now this is not normally what I would be using. I would be using a flat putty knife or something like that rather than a, a crowbar. But what we do is we uh, will pour the solution onto the rag and uh, then we wrap the uh, rag where the solution has been poured, like such, like this. Yes. And, uh, and then should it be a window that we are working on uh, and there's overspray past the rim of the wood on the window, we would put it flat like this very carefully and we would run it up and down at a very slow pace, Yes. working that edge, making sure that anything that came on the glass um, comes off. And I mean, it's really that simple. That's how we use it primarily, unless it's uh, something that's spilled on the floor or whatever, then we would generally uh, soak it in on the floor liberally for a short period of time, like maybe two, three minutes, and yes. then we'd just come with a, with a, with a rag or with a rag and a putty knife like this and kind of just work the surface gently. So, so you've used 1000 plus on carpeting? Yes. You've used 1000 plus on uh, clothing or uniforms? Yep. You've used 1000 plus on hands? Yes. You've used 1000 plus on some of your tools or implements? I would say we use them on our tools on a regular basis. Yeah, we, our spray guns get covered in paint, so we'll, we'll pour it on and then clean it off. Yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah. You've used it inside a vehicle? Yeah, inside a vehicle, yeah. And uh, you haven't heard of any untoward, uh, un any unwelcome reactions by pets or children or homeowners? Or uh, no, actually one of our supervisors, he uh, washes his dog on a weekly basis for a thousand <laughs> plus, so, yeah. 
Okay. Well, Anders, thank you very much again for being part of the 1,000 plus stain remover story and for helping contractors and other professionals in North America discover something of practical value to themselves, something that progressive distributors and forward-looking retailers are carrying, those who are really concerned about bringing their customers what's next in usefulness for their uh, lives. Ah, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we'll see you soon. It was a pleasure. Now I'm off to the next job site. Take care. <laughs>